Welcome to Rossa Creek Farms Planning Your Garlic Farm Beta Version 1.1, a powerful tool for both novice and experienced farmers who are planning to develop garlic as a cash crop. You can use this tool to approach your business plan from any number of angles. You may be needing to fill a certain size field, or realize a certain amount of profit in the first year. Or maybe you have three years of capital saved up and can afford a more gentle learning curve. Planning your garlic farm allows you to approach your business plan from any of these directions and many more. Now the first thing you'll need to do is download the file from our website. Go to rossacreekfarm.com and click on the Plan Your Garlic Farm tab in the upper right corner of the header. When you click on that page, you'll be brought to this page here, and you'll see at the top there are two versions of the file that you can download. One is compatible with Excel 2007 and up, and there's a version that's compatible with earlier versions of Excel, 97 through 2003, and other spreadsheet programs such as OpenOffice. Click on the link that's appropriate for you to download the file. <coughs> Once you've downloaded and opened the file, you'll see something that looks like this. It'll be default to this first page here, which is called Instructions, this sheet here. There are six sheets in the spreadsheet altogether, and while this first one, the instructional sheet, is fully functional, it's simply here to help instruct you on how to use the spreadsheet. So read the instructions, all these instructions here at the top, and then read the comments contained within each cell that has a little red triangle in the upper right corner, such as this one. You can see that comment opens up automatically once your cursor is hovering over the cell that contains that red triangle. And you can see down here, many, many cells contain comments. I recommend you read as many of those as you have time to. Of course, you can always go straight to playing around with the spreadsheet if you want, and then just refer back to this instructional sheet if you need help. Okay, there are two main components to the spreadsheet. One, the master planner, and that's this whole area at the top here. It includes variables determined by you and years 1, 2, through 5. And two, at the bottom of the spreadsheet, is a section called garlic selection. And our entire catalog is listed here. And you can enter, starting with year one, of course, the amount of bulbs you're interested in for any given cultivar. <coughs> OK, important thing to note. These cells here, of course, these white cells in the garlic selection, are editable by you. You enter the amount of garlic that you want. And any cells up in the master planner that are this color blue are also editable by you. All the other cells are locked, both for your protection, because there are formulas in most of these cells, and we don't want to accidentally be deleting those formulas, and also to protect the copyright of the spreadsheet. Okay, at the top of the master planner, there's this section I mentioned called Variables Determined by You. That's this red section right here, variables determined by you. So these three rows all the way across the spreadsheet. <clears throat> That's where you'll tell the planner how you set up your fields. The spacing between cloves, the number of cloves, uh, the spacing between rows, rather spacing within rows, the number of rows per bed, and another important one here, the width of your aisles how much space you want to have between your beds to be able to kneel down and accomplish your weeding, etc. You can also play around with the estimated number of bulbs per pound that you believe you'll achieve at harvest time. That's right over here, bulbs per pound. The default in our spreadsheet is 10. Of course, you can have that be higher or lower. As well as how much you'll sell your garlic for. That's right here price per pound. The average MPC is $10 a pound. It may be higher or lower for you. And your crop loss. Perhaps you'll have bad weather. We estimate 5% crop loss any given year. Maybe it'll be higher or lower in your case. 
and over here you'll be entering your estimated cost for mulch and amendments per 25 feet of bed planted. Rossa Creek Farm always provides default values in the columns marked RCFs, but we understand that your choice and price for mulch and so forth may be radically different than ours, and so every variable is adjustable by you to meet your own needs and expected costs. Again, these comments describe exactly how we've come up with our default numbers, so you can have an idea of how we came up with those. Finally, you can enter the cost of expected labor per hour. The average here in BC is about 10.50 per hour. The cell below labor gives a rough estimate of price per bulb given how many bulbs are selected in the garlic selection area at the bottom of the spreadsheet. Rossa Creek Farm offers bulk discounts, and you can see that the price per bulb will range between 250 and 350 depending on the size of the order. Now, if you believe you can talk me down lower than 250, you can always enter your own thing right over here. Okay, let's do a quick example to show off how quick and comprehensive this tool can be. I'm going to click on Master Planner right down here. Come up with my Master Planner, and you can see, oh, I already had a number in there, we'll take that out. You can see that I've already split the screen. I like to be able to see both the master planner year one and variables and my garlic selection area down here at the same time. If you're not familiar with how to split a screen, you would go into, um, I believe it's page layout, no, oh, view, sorry, and right there it says split. That's how you split or unsplit your screen, if you prefer not to have it split. Okay. <clears throat> so, let's say I have half an acre to work with. Now, an acre is about 43,700. Let's just say 44,000. So, I've already entered 22,000 in here, denoting half an acre. Once you put in, well, I'll show you from scratch. Once I put in 22,000, you'll see that it tells me that I need more bulbs. Oops, that too. 22,000 is half an acre. I don't have any bulbs selected yet, so I need to add bulbs to my order. I'm going to use the ever popular Russian red garlic down here and start with, say, 5,000 bulbs. Let's see what that gives me. Uh, comes up here automatically brought up into the marbled purple stripe row. The Russian red is a marbled purple stripe. There are six cloves per bulb average. Total bulbs 5,000. Total cloves therefore 30,000. And looks like the length of my bed is going to be 2,917 feet given my parameters up here. And the square footage of my field required is only 17,500, which is less than 22,000, so I need to add more bulbs, as we can see here. If I go to 6,000, it uh, brings me up to 21,000 square feet of field, and I need just a little bit more. I believe I figured this out in the past, and it was 6,287. Hit enter, and yes, that now shows good. I need 22,005 feet, close enough for this formula to come back with the result of good. So I'm going to order 6,287 Russian red bulbs, which yields 37,722 cloves. I'm going to have to have 3,667 linear feet of bed, which means 22,005 feet of area total given my aisle width and bed width, which is just about half an acre. Okay, now let's take a look at all the data that's automatically filled in. You can see exactly how many linear feet of bed, which you already went over, and over here you can see an estimate of labor required. 
If you don't like Rossa Creek Farms estimates, you can always enter your own. Just know that we've taken estimates that are common to many garlic farms who we've spoken with over the years for weeding, harvesting, processing, and so forth. Again, in the instructional sheet, uh, these cells have comments and you can see exactly how we came up with those numbers. Under expenses, you can see a breakdown of costs associated with amendments, fuel, marketing, irrigation, and so forth. And everything is summarized for you right here in the middle of the page. Play around with the estimated bulbs per pound and the percentage of crop loss to see how it affects your bottom line. But before getting too excited about net profit, be sure to subtract the number of bulbs that you'll have to keep back as your planting stock for next year. To do that, simply enter the quantity of bulbs from each family that you'll be replanting in this column here. <coughs> if you want to stay the same size, then enter the same quantity as you planted in the first year, in which case 6,287. Enter. And there we have it. If you want to grow your farm, then enter a larger amount. You could grow really fast if you replant everything. Notice that you can quickly see exactly how much land you'll need to prepare for the following year by looking here. In square feet, you can see we'll need 22,005 feet next year, total area next year to plant. You can also see that that number gets carried forward. All numbers from the bulbs to replant column, which we've entered up here, get automatically carried down into the next year's column, or row, the appropriate family of garlic. And, of course, the entire spreadsheet then gets populated with the automatic formula results all throughout. So, just to see what would happen, let's replant everything. 37,722 bulbs. If I replant everything, I'm going to be planting 132,000 square feet in year two, which when I go down to year two and look, you can see in acres, that's 3.03 .03 acres. So from half an acre to three acres, which makes sense since Basically, we're increasing our stock six times. So let's go back to 6,287. And now let's look at our net profit. <clears throat> Play with all the variables and come up with best and worst case scenarios. For instance, oops, we had a flood this year. 60% crop loss which you can see in harvested pounds results in a greatly reduced harvest from only a 5% crop loss. And of course the bottom line is affected in all cases. Go back to 5% and say we had a bumper crop. Instead of 10 bulbs per pound, we get 8 bulbs per pound. Now look what happens. We have 4,479 pounds harvested rather than just 3,584 and our profits are greatly increased. So you can play around with this, have fun with it. If you end up with a cultivar that achieves a better bulb per pound ratio here, then you'll be able to create your own custom spreadsheet to reflect that. Okay, something I'm constantly guiding people to consider is taking a year or two to learn the ropes of garlic farming. An acre of garlic can totally overwhelm a novice farmer. Take a look at the difference between our one, two, and three year plans. Those are those sheets right down here. One year plan, two year plan, three year plan. You can see I've just entered a number of, of, uh, cultivars to give you diversity and we can start with a relatively small amount only garlic seed and estimate down here 752 dollars worth of garlic in year one 
will result in year three, one, two, three, and a full acre of garlic. Whereas in year one, all your planting is 867 square feet, practically a backyard garden. If you can afford the time, I greatly encourage you to consider sizing up over at least two years. <clears throat> Something I forgot to point out here was in the summary area, we'll go down to year three. You see an acre of garlic. There's this number right here, curing shed in square feet. To properly cure garlic, you need to hang it in open air for at least two or three weeks and let all that residual moisture escape. This is an estimate <clears throat> using Rossa Creek Farms curing method of how big of a curing shed you will need to cure this much garlic. If you have 73,000 bulbs you're harvesting and wanting to hang, you'll need a curing shed about 1,600 square feet. That allows for a two foot overhang all the way around. Okay, <clears throat> that gives you a good overview of what Rossa Creek Farm's new garlic farm planning tool can do. Use the master planner sheet if you want to start from scratch and enter all your own variables. And, of course, please feel free to call if you have any questions and want further guidance. You can find our contact information at the website under contact. Okay, happy planning, and remember, sign up to Rossa Creek Farm's newsletter to receive growing tips and up-to-date information about our current harvest and any other news coming out about specials, deals, bulk discounts, and inventory amounts. That newsletter subscription button is right here on most pages on our website. <clears throat> the Rossa Creek Farm newsletter, subscribe now. Click on that and you'll be taken to an easy subscribe page. Thank you very much for listening and have a great time with our new free Planning Your Garlic Farm Beta Version 1.1.